Okay. So with the name Jacob Cast, I got to thinking, what kind of body would fit that sort of thing? What kind of uh, NXT rookie, independent scene wrestler, what kind of person would that look like? So I dicked around with it. I uh, toyed around with what I was allowed to because they wouldn't uh, let you change some things like the, you know, the overall body shape and stuff like that. You can change, like, you know, the hair and color and whatnot, most of the things. You can't change the abilities. Most of the things are preset. And with that being said, say hello to my Jacob Cass. <laughs> Granted, I had to break a few rules. I don't like to plaster. Uh, I don't like to plaster my CAW with a whole bunch of like you know tattoos and whatnot. But when it came to this sort of thing, I figured that uh, somebody, somebody like that, somebody from the industry would probably be plastered with tattoos, plastered with a whole bunch of things like this, a whole bunch of this, uh, different designs. So, you know, I decided to break the rules and give it to my Jacob Cast, as it were. And, uh, might as well show you the entrance attire. And there we have it. That being said, let's check out the ballad of one Jacob Cass. Ah! Surprised the hell out of me. <laughs> I probably would never give that, uh, <laughs> probably wouldn't give that, uh, menu screen post to, mu uh, to much people, so decided to give it to Jake. Uh. Alright, the newest, uh, WWE superstar, the newest NXT, uh, the latest NXT rookie, Jacob Gass. And it made it specific that you couldn't make a diva. <laughs> of course you can't. Get the hero story started. Hello and welcome to Monday Night Raw. Michael Cole with WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. Tonight, we begin the march towards Survivor Series. And King, things have gotten a lot more interesting around here. Well, last Tuesday we found out the winner of NXT. That man was none other than the tremendously talented Jacob Cass. And WWE's newest breakout superstar will be in action next oh, but I that, that makes me think I don't know what his moveset is uh, I'm gonna have to tell it around what oh he's, he's, in, he's in his entrance gear okay I'm about to say I didn't make this uh, I didn't make this his cinematic gear all right onward you abomination onward ah husky Harris Jacob Cass, <laughs> I'm glad I ran into you. I'm Husky Harris. So here's the thing, Cass. You may have won an XT, but that means nothing here. If you want to survive in the WWE, you need to bring it. But from the looks of things, there's no way you're even going to last the evening. Where are you going? What was that? Hey, pal. When you start set with me, you better be ready to finish it. <laughs> this coming from a guy who's been sent to FCW. Oh, that's not right. This is gut check time, King. That's the only way you're going to get out of this in one piece. Oh my god. Fat man can dance. See what I tell you. Look at Husky Harris. He's just plastered with tattoos. Blocked. I also gave him the current angle mouthpieces. Like I said, probably wouldn't do it with anybody else. Let's kick this up. Oh, it's a gurry. What the hell? Look at this boy. Woohoo! Damn. Consider this 
finished. I'm still here. You've got to be kidding me. Hey, what's going on here? Nothing. Just saying hello to the new guy. Be a fanboy. Easy, man. See? Even the guy, even the seasoned veterans like Rey Mysterio, they're plastered with tattoos. Well, needless to say, my first night on Raw was a train wreck. Thanks to Tubba Goo. Welcome back oh, to come on. Raw. Now, King, last week, Jacob Cass was scheduled to compete. But former NXT competitor and third-generation superstar Husky Harris had other ideas. Well, tonight, we get the match that was set to occur last week as Daniel Bryan and Jacob Cass square off. And that's next. <laughs> that's pretty garbage that I don't get my own picture there. Not only that, but I have to, once again, beat up on Daniel Bryan. Um, that being said... There we go, thank you. I guess he had to load. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first... From Aberdeen, Washington, weighing 192 pounds, Dan what? Bryan. He seriously weighs that less? <laughs> Freaking Spike Dudley over here. All right, let's see Jacob Cass's entrance. And his opponent, the winner of NXT, Jacob Cass. Oh, he's got the default entrance. That's garbage. But he's got a pretty cool theme song. Look at this playing. <laughs> Runner Jacob Cass. He must have won the the theme song special where they give you uh, your own entrance theme. I think Wade Barry got that, and he ended up getting. Uh, well, did he even get the theme? I think he only got like the uh, the NXT B theme, as it were. Rise above this or something. I can't remember. Arrgh. All right, Jacob Cass, let's go. So here we go as these two NXT alums finally face off, and King. You have to give the advantage to Daniel Bryan here, right? Well, of course, Michael. Jacob Cass looked outstanding on NXT, but Bryan's got a huge advantage in experience, and he's at the top of his game. So clearly, this will be a true test for Jacob Cass. Big move coming. Oh, my God. The Frankensteiner. I can't get over what we just saw. That was a great move. I don't know if it's the fact that Danny Bryan is so small, but Jacob Cass is pretty big to be pulling off a Frankenstein like that. What impact in a shot to the solar plexus. Oh my, what a jawbreaker. Now that's how you do it. What the hell? Oof. Nice. Well, he certainly has the moves of an NXT rookie. Husky Harris would attack Jacob Cass? Well, I would think it's because of the interest level in Jacob Cass. I mean, Husky Harris has been here for a while now, and then you get this guy Jacob Cass showing up and stealing the spotlight that Husky feels he deserves. Don't tell me Husky's going to be the main antagonist. Poof! So what do you make of Jacob Cass's Raw debut? So far, I'm extremely impressed with this young man. In my mind, he's picking up right where he left off on NXT. Oh, God. Brian Daniels. Danny Bryan, you're nice too quick for me. By Cass. 
See? Oh God! Will this be it? Really going? Hang on! Would you look at this? Fighting and clawing with every fiber of Was that the cross arm breaker? Refusing to submit. Daniel Bryan like a cat heading to the top. Tried to punch him off. All right, cats. Let's do it. Watch out here! Whoa! Big ol' STO like no one's business. Doof! Uh-oh. It might be time to run. Oh, God. Here comes the comeback. Oh! What did I do that for? Just got taken out. I'm such an asshole, Jacob Cass. The action of this has been fast and furious. Incredible counter. I don't think so. Whoa. Look at the athleticism on display there. This match has been awesome. The emotion of Jacob Cash cannot be contained. Come on, man, get up. Let me see my finisher. Wow, Brian is so quick. You stole my finisher, Brian. Now you're gonna pay. Total destruction. I'm gonna add he myself to the list of people who have buried you. Just worn him out. Whoa, 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 Daniel Bryan oh God. for the label lock, and he's got it. Just squeezing down on the head here. <laughs> Get off me. Inzaguri with a shot to the head. I can't believe he can still go like that. The agility was on display with that head signal. Well, that had to have knocked him silly. Watch it. Watch it. Big old crucifix. All right. Now let's see my finisher. He's looking at again. Him. Come on, Brian. Brian had that well scouted. Nice step there, takedown. That was spectacular. This match just keeps getting better. Cast to the top turnbuckle. Look out! Whoa! Mushroom stomp like no one's business. What we saw. That was so great. Here we go. Here we go. He's hanging on for dear life. Oh, you're not going to last long here. No, it's time to fight out or tap out, King. Daniel Bryant with the arm. Oh, 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 Anaconda Vice. Oh, submission. The hole's locked in. Really going to work here. Just wrenching that thing. Oh, man. Boof! Flying forearm. Ah! I'm going to see my finisher, and you're going to like it. Oh, rope break. What? Where's the rope break? Thank you. He's in a bad spot here. Great counter. Daniel Bryan is simply amazing. Watch it. Intercepted. Oh, Daniel Bryan's got that far away look in his eye. He's still not through. Ah, look at all oh, this is bad. What the hell? I need some medical assistance. I busted him up before I even hit the mat. Whoa. He played it a little too early, there, Brian. By Cass. All right. If this doesn't work, I'm just gonna He's pin him up. or make him submit. Not this. Oh come on, Brian. You want to play that? And there are the ropes. He does it again. You want to play like that? Fine. Dragon Sleeper, bitch. He's in a tough predicament. Oh, man. Does that look painful? Oh, my God. Look at the street shaking. Should just let me hit you with a finisher, boy. Spare yourself this embarrassment. Somewhere in the back. Cass's mentor, Rey Mysterio, is smiling. Yeah, there's something truly extraordinary about this young man. I agree. Jacob Cass seems to consistently find a way to overcome adversity, no matter the challenge. 
Yeah, and in WWE, the challenges will only get bigger. Ah, so Rey Mysterio was uh, Jacob Cass's mentor, right? No wonder he stuck up for him after Husky Harris came after him. Yeah, if you make Jacob Cass, you might notice that the face and the hair didn't change all that much. That's because that was kind of what I, I had in mind when I first thought of the name Jacob Cass. So I figured, you know, it's not broken. Why not fix it? Hell, I wasn't going to take the identity of Jacob Cass because I'm Alan Sullivan, motherfucker. Welcome to Monday Night Raw from Jacksonville, Florida. Michael Cole, and with me is WWE Hall of Famer Jerry the King Lawler. And King, over the last few weeks, the talk has been centered around one Jacob Cass. Yes, it has. But I'll tell you one person that's not happy about Cass's arrival, and that's Husky Harris. Well, earlier today, Harris challenged Raw's newest member to a tag team match. And from what I hear, Jacob Cass accepted without hesitation. And that match is coming up next. And I can't wait to see who Cass chooses as a partner. Probably gonna be Rey Mysterio, but hey. Who's Husky Harris's uh mentor in when he was an XT rookie, I wonder. He's probably gonna grab him. What the The following tag team Get a load of this. It's scheduled for one fall. Introducing first. Trusted Gabriel. And More NXT alums coming to get me. It's <laughs> it's the core on one side and the new Nexus on the other, and they both were garbage. <laughs> and meanwhile, my partner is Daniel Bryan. Sweet, finally get a win with this boy. And their opponents, Jacob, Cats, and Daniel. Unless, of course, uh, Danny Bryan turns on me. It's been happening a lot lately. Da -ba -da -ba. <laughs> Husky Harris must be, must have uh, recorded his lines before he got sent off to FCW. Then again, we didn't hear him talk, so it probably not, might not even be Husky Harris. <laughs> So last week, uh -huh. Jacob Cass and Daniel Bryan went one-on-one. -on -one. But tonight, they're working together. Well, sometimes when you face a man, win or lose, if they give you their best, they earn your respect. And that must have been exactly what happened between Cass and Bryan. And of course, on the other side of the coin are two people that respect nobody. in Husky Harris and Justin Gabriel. Well, I wouldn't say they don't respect anybody. I mean, these third-generation superstars have shown they respect anybody that can help advance their career. This match is occurring because of Harris's attack on Cass two weeks ago, which leads me to a bigger issue. And that's who's in control of things around here in WWE. Absolutely. This place has turned into the Wild West. The last several general managers haven't had the ability to control the goings-on here. Well, when you hire a general manager like The Miz several months back, things just go from bad to worse. There's the tag. Sweet. Brian, get in here. Yes. Now let's show you how to really wrestle. Looks like he's about to have some fun. Get out of there, Jake. Stupid C.A.W., what's wrong with you? Back out on the apron. Husky Harris, so smart, knew exactly what was going to happen. Ref, what the? What is going on here? This place is madness. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh well, I can guarantee he feels way worse about it. <clears throat> oh man, fat boy camel clutch. Right here, and he breaks the hole. I guess he wants to try something else. I don't know what more you'd want to do to another man. Oh, dear Lord. And there's a tag. <laughs> Tell me starting to regret messing with me. And my new homeboy, Daniel Bryan. Oh! God, what are they doing here? 
A good snap there. I can't believe he can still go like that. Clearly he doesn't want any more of me. Oh, look at his head. Oh, here comes the Dragon Sleeper again. There's the submission. This might be it. Great hold being applied. Talk to me. Do you want to quit? Jacob Cass from behind. Ah. The ah. speed of Husky Harris. For a 300-pounder, this young man is so quick. Oh, boy. I'm, I'm having flashbacks of Edge. Never mind. <laughs> He's got evil intentions. Oh god. Fly, tubby tubby fly. No offense to all the uh <laughs> white people out there. does it. He's looking at it. Now let's see if I can have a better look with my finisher here. Uh oh, trying to put him away. <clears throat> oh, what is it? What's going on here? Oh shoot! What a move by Big Cass. old brain buster. Hey look, I got another one. Hey! He's going for it again! Damn right, I might as well. He should oh, die, oh, Harris. He's done. Shoulders down. One. One. Two. two oh. Three. Justin Gabriel not even gonna do anything to move. Not even gonna do anything to help. What's up with that? <laughs> Alright. Let's see what goes on now. What? What's he doing out here? I'm just pissing off NXT rookies one at a time. Oh, ah! Man. Oh God! There goes Ray. These men are under my tutelage. If you have a problem with them, then you have it with me. Michael, we need to get some order out here. I mean, things are just getting completely out of hand. Man, okay. <laughs> Freaking Wade Barrett setting up another stable. What's wrong with you? No wonder they have such a sour attitude. Don't you remember what happened the last time you were in a stable, you idiot? Last couple of times, actually. <laughs> I'll put you under a uh, hundred thousand million chairs again. A happy early Thanksgiving, everybody, as Monday Night Raw comes to you from Mobile, Alabama. Look, it's Hardcore Holly. Michael, I can smell the turkey from here. Oh, wait, that's you. <laughs> Very funny, King, but what's not so funny is the chaos with the former NXT participants and Rey Mysterio. Well, Rey has a lot to be thankful for. He and Wade Barrett will captain opposing teams at Survivor Series. And we're going to see some of those participants up next.